All right, guys, Fishy Dubs Fishing here. And I'm gonna make a short video on this. What I'm doing is installing these spreader lights. I uh, did a lot of night fishing on the Northeast Coast. And they don't do much of it in Florida for some reason. So I am going to bring it back. Uh, they fish for some snook on the docks around the lights and things like that. And some shark fishing. But I am going to bring back night fishing here. So the couple of times I've been out already, I had sharks and stuff up alongside the boat. And I don't have no light on the side. I got spreader lights in the back. I got these spreader lights back and, and in the bow. So these are going to light up the, the side. Okay, so this is the bracket. I drilled the hole here. Like I said, I chamfered it so it doesn't crack. Same thing with the hole for the wire. So now I, I have a plate, a fish plate up here behind it because with these lights you know they might have a tendency to bounce a little bit and I don't want to crack the uh, hard top so I'm, I put a fish plate there's a washer then I have an elastic stop nut on top of it So I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna get this in there and then get back to you. Okay, so these spreader lights are a pretty good quality. For two of them, I think I paid $120. Now you got cheap ones out there. You could get a half a dozen lights for like $30. But that's about what you're going to need because you're going to re be replacing them every week. So I spent the extra money. These are 1800 looms. Now, when you're buying lights that you need a lot of light, you want to get the highest looms you can for the money you want to spend. And if you think a thousand looms is good, go to 1800 that's what I did I went up as much as I can get so this one is mounted I drilled a couple of holes I put a backing plate up there so when these things vibrate it doesn't crack the fiberglass and then I drilled the hole for the wire I'm gonna wire it into the existing light switch for the stern uh, spreader lights so when I put the stern lights on, these lights are going to go on automatically. So this one, I took some measurements off the side. It's four and a half inches in. And I measured from this bolt here back. You know, there's really not a lot of places you can get good measurements. So, you know, this is a boat is symmetrical. So when you put something on, if you're putting two items on, you want to try to get the items as close as a match as you possibly can. So I drilled the hole in here. I drilled the hole and um, I explained how you drill holes in fiberglass in my putting the radar unit on. I explained how to drill holes where you don't get cracks. I'm going to drill a hole for the wire. I'm going to put the wire up. And I got some lines here we're going to tie it into. And uh, then we're going to be done here. Okay, so I got the bracket in there. Snug. It's not real tight yet because I still want to get my location for the light. So... get it up on the bracket put the bolt through and you have a nut 
to tighten it up we're gonna have it angled something like this so let me get it tightened up and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we got this one tight. And I'm gonna pitch it down. Now this one here, I need it um, for this bait table. At night when I'm cutting bait, I can't see over here on this side. So that's another reason why I put this up. And that's it. They're all wired in. Like I said, when I put the lights, the spreader lights on for the, the back of the boat, these will come on with it. It'll light the whole back of the boat up for night fishing. You know, this way when I get the fish up to the side of the boat, I can see enough to gaff them. And like I said, um, I really done a lot of chunking, night chunking in New Jersey and these uh, big redfish, I do believe you could get them at night on chunks. And I'm going to set up and chunk and see if that's true. Okie dokie. I'll snap a picture when I got these on tonight. And then I'll put the video out. So watch this video. Watch the other videos. There's going to be a lot of fishing coming up. I've been so busy with this house and working on the boat we're putting in a new sunroof a new sunroof is going in this old tarp canopy is going there's going to be a brand new metal roof going in soon i'm going to have a video on how to lay out the foundation for it and then a video on um, the setup of the uh, roof it's going to be done by contractors it's part of the price Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you sub. Okay guys. This is the end result here. We're going to put the stern lights on. looks good right there I got light on my table I got light off to the side this side here is really lit up good so this should make a big difference before you couldn't see nothing out there so now night fishing when I get a fish up it's uh, really going to show up. Let me see where the underwater lights are. Yes. I have good, easy um, 30, 40 feet off to the port and starboard side. So I'm excited. I can't wait. To get out there all right this will wrap it up here